Hello everyone, this is Code Ode. Time to write some code. As I have said in the previous video, in order for us to draw something, we need to use the HTML canvas element. So we add this element in the body area, we write canvas, and then the, the closing tag, just one moment, canvas, and then the closing tag canvas. We save, go back to the browser, right click, left click inspect, and we can see our canvas element. It has a default width of 300 uh, and the default height of 150. We can also see that the body has a default margin of 8 pixels, so we have to remove this uh, margin. In the head area, we write style, and here we can add all the CSS rules we need. I'm going to use the uh, I'm using the universal selector and uh, let's write margin 0, padding 0 so that uh, every single element from our page has a margin of 0 and a padding of 0 save, go back to the browser and we can see that uh, the body has no margin anymore now in order for us to work with this canvas we have to use JavaScript first let's Let's give it a ID of canvas, and now we create a variable using const, and uh, let's name it canvas, and uh, use the document object to access uh, the canvas element, and we call the method get element by ID. In this case, is the ID is canvas. So. What about changing the width and the height of this canvas? Well, we can do this directly here. We can write width and then height. Or we can do this uh, from JavaScript. So this is what we want. We write canvas width, let's say 500, can canvas height, let's say 600. Save, go back to the browser and uh, you can see that the width and the height changed but uh, what we want is that this canvas to take the full width and the full height in order to do this we have to use the window object and uh, the property inner width the same here window inner height all these objects uh, document and uh, window are part of the DOM um, and they are part of JavaScript. You can learn more about this on Google. So let's go on with our um, code. Now, this is still not enough for us to draw something. We need a context. We create a new variable, const ctx, and then we write uh, canvas, get context. And uh, we say 2D. We need a 2D context. And this uh, context is, is an object that. Uh, gives us all the properties and the methods needed for us to draw and uh, how to draw what we want to draw now let's talk about uh, this canvas um, uh, this canvas uh, element with a 2d context so I have here a little drawing because uh, we have a 2d context uh, this is using um, a 2d coordinate system uh, the top left corner of the canvas is the origin and the positive uh, y-axis uh, goes down a little bit different from the usual uh, 2D coordinate system in order for us to draw something we specify for example a rectangle we specify an x and uh, the x and the y coordinates and uh, a width and a height you can see that uh, uh, the relative origin of this uh, rectangle is the top left corner if we want to draw a circle, uh, we specify the center of the circle, not the top left corner. Uh, this time is the center, an X and, uh, and a Y, a radius, and uh, a starting and an ending angle. Now it's time for us to draw something. So, as I have said, we use this uh, context, this object context. If we want to draw a rectangle, we call the method uh, fill rect. The x coordinate 100, the y coordinate 100, and a width and a height 50 50. Save, go back to the browser, 
and the, you can see the rectangle. Now what about changing the color? We have the property CTX fill style. We can pass it a hexadecimal value or using the RGB RGB functions. Let's pass it a hexadecimal value, hash the hash symbol, and then FF0000, which is red. Save, go back to the browser, and you can see now the rectangle is red. Now let's draw a circle. STX. First we begin a path, then we call the arc method. Now we have to give it the uh, x coordinate 100, let's say 200, the y coordinate 200, the center, the center of the circle, radius 50, starting angle 0, and the, the end angle is going to be mat pi multiplied by 2. So a full circle. Now we have to use a method stroke in order to see the outline of this circle. We save, go back to the browser and uh, you can see the circle. Now what about filling the circle with a certain color? After the after we call the arc method we write stx fill and that's it. Save, go back to the browser and you can see now, now that the circle is red uh, but we can change the color before uh, drawing this circle we write stx fill style and then we write FF00, oh, the hash symbol, let's not forget about it, FF00, FF. Save it. And now you can see that the color changed. What about this changing the color of this outline? Well, we have a property for that too. SDX uh, stroke style. And once again, FF, FF00, FF. We save, go back to the browser, and now the color of this outline changed. Well, that's it with, the, with this tutorial. I hope you learned something. See you soon.